Hello and welcome back to WDT News. Over the past 24 hours, we've been deeply saddened by the loss of three American legends who died today. In this special episode, we honor their extraordinary lives, celebrate their incredible achievements, and reflect on the legacies they leave behind. If their stories or the mark they left on the world have moved you, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel as a heartfelt tribute to their remarkable memories. Qu'est-ce que tu as cavalé comme ça Je te l'ai dit, je suis pressée. Bon, bah, je suis arrivée, bonsoir. Tu pourrais le dire plus gentiment. Oh, si mon père nous veillait ensemble. The world has bid farewell to Genevieve Grad, a cherished star whose light will continue to shine in the hearts of countless fans. Known for her iconic role as Nicole Cruchot in the beloved Le Gendarme series, she embodied the vibrant charm and youthful spirit of 1960s French cinema. Genevieve Grad passed away on November 8, 2024, after a courageous battle with cancer. She was 80 years old, leaving behind a legacy that resonates deeply with audiences who grew up laughing and dreaming alongside her. Genevieve Grad was born on July 5, 1944, in Paris, France. She began her artistic journey as a dancer at the Opéra de Paris, showcasing her natural grace and discipline. Her transition to the silver screen was marked by early performances that captivated audiences with her beauty and innate talent. However, it was her portrayal of Nicole Cruchot in Le Gendarme de Saint-Tropez, 1964, that cemented her status as a cultural icon. Starring alongside the legendary Louis de Funès, Grad brought to life a character that was modern, independent, and irresistibly charming. She reprised her role in Le Gendarme in New York, 1965, and Le Gendarme sur Marie, 1968, each performance adding depth to her portrayal and further endearing her to audiences. Beyond her unforgettable work in the Le Gendarme series, Genevieve Grad explored diverse roles in French and Italian cinema. She starred in adventure films, comedies, and dramas, working alongside renowned directors and actors. Her versatility and dedication to her craft allowed her to leave a distinct mark on every project she touched. One of her most memorable contributions to the Le Gendarme series was her performance of the song Du Lieu, Du Lieu Saint-Tropez, a tune that encapsulated the carefree essence of its era and became synonymous with her name. As the 1970s unfolded, Genevieve Grad made the deliberate decision to step away from the limelight. Prioritizing her personal life, she turned her focus to family and other creative pursuits. She worked as a production assistant for the television show Temps X, hosted by Igor and Grichka Bogdanov, with whom she shared a chapter of her life and had a son, Dmitri. Later, she pursued a passion for antiques and cultural event hosting, collaborating with figures like Annie Chaplin in her adopted town of Vendôme. Her contributions to cinema extended far beyond entertainment. They shaped the cultural landscape and inspired generations of artists and audiences alike. Fans across the globe, from Germany to Russia and Ukraine, continued to send her letters of admiration throughout her life. Her husband, Jean Guillaume, an architect and her steadfast companion of over 30 years, often shared how these expressions of affection brought her joy and affirmed her enduring impact. The final farewell to Genevieve Grad was marked by a heartfelt and intimate ceremony in Vendôme. Attended by family, friends, and admirers, the service reflected the simplicity and elegance that characterized her life. Tributes poured in from all corners of the world, with fans and colleagues celebrating her timeless contributions to cinema and her unforgettable charm. One post encapsulated the collective sentiment. Genevieve Grad wasn't just an actress. She was a beacon of light and joy in our lives. A particularly touching memory from her career was the time she performed Dulieu Dulieu Saint-Tropez during a spontaneous set break. Her co-stars and crew joined in, creating an impromptu moment of camaraderie that exemplified her warmth and vibrant personality. Stories like these paint a picture of a woman whose presence brought laughter and unity, both on and off the screen. Genevieve Grad's legacy is one of elegance, talent, and heartfelt connection. Through her iconic roles and the joy she brought to audiences, she leaves an indelible mark on the world of cinema. As we remember her life and contributions, we honor not just an actress, but a beloved figure who touched the lives of many. 
Her films will continue to bring smiles and inspiration to generations, ensuring that her light will never fade. The nonsense makes me numb. It's near. It's clear. The world has lost a poetic voice and musical innovator with the passing of Peter Sinfield, a man whose lyrical genius and artistic vision shaped the progressive rock movement and touched countless hearts. His deep connection with fans, forged through timeless works like In the Court of the Crimson King and heartfelt lyrics for artists ranging from King Crimson to Celine Dion, leaves a legacy that is both profound and enduring. Peter Sinfield passed away on November 14, 2024, at the age of 80, after years of declining health. The news, shared by King Crimson's Robert Fripp, resonated deeply with music lovers worldwide, marking the end of an era. Born Peter John Sinfield on December 27, 1943, in Fulham, London, his early life was as colorful as the lyrics he would go on to write. Raised by a German housekeeper who was part of the famous Flying Wallenda's circus troupe, Sinfield's bohemian upbringing instilled in him a love for literature, poetry, and art. He was particularly drawn to the works of Paul Verlaine and William Blake, whose influence would later seep into his surreal and evocative songwriting. After an adventurous youth traveling through Spain and Morocco, he returned to London, where his passion for words and music set him on a path that would redefine rock music. Sinfield's creative journey took flight when he co-founded King Crimson in 1968, alongside guitarist Robert Fripp and multi-instrumentalist Ian MacDonald. Naming the band himself, Sinfield sought something bold and evocative. Crimson for its fiery imagery and King for its regal audacity. He contributed lyrics, stage lighting, and live sound engineering, becoming the band's artistic anchor. His words, rich with mystical and political themes, elevated King Crimson's music into a realm of poetic storytelling. Songs like 21st Century Schizoid Man captured the chaos of the Vietnam War era, blending sharp social critique with the prophetic tone that would define progressive rock. The groundbreaking 1969 debut album, in the Court of the Crimson King is widely regarded as the first fully realized progressive rock record. Sinfield's lyrics, paired with the band's innovative sound, set a new standard for the genre. He continued his work with the band on subsequent albums such as In the Wake of Poseidon, 1970, Lizard, 1970, and Islands, 1971. However, creative differences led to his departure in 1972 as his softer, jazz-influenced vision clashed with Fripp's pursuit of heavier, more disciplined music. Sinfield's departure from King Crimson did not mark the end of his contributions to music. He went on to produce Roxy Music's debut album, crafting the glam rock anthem, Virginia Plain. In 1973, he released his only solo album, Still, an introspective blend of poetry and progressive soundscapes. His lyrical collaborations extended to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, contributing to iconic tracks like I Believe in Father Christmas. Sinfield's ability to transcend genres became evident as he penned lyrics for pop icons such as Cher, Leo Sayer, and Celine Dion, winning two Ivor Novello Awards for his work. Beyond music, Sinfield's artistic pursuits included publishing a book of poetry, Under the Sky, and narrating the experimental album in a land of clear colors. His love for gardening and cooking reflected his multifaceted personality, as did his later life in Suffolk, where he found solace near the sea. Despite health challenges, including open-heart surgery, he remained connected to his art and his fans, appearing in documentaries like Prague Rock Britannia and revisiting his work with King Crimson for new interpretations. The outpouring of tributes from fans, colleagues, and admirers underscores Sinfield's enduring impact. Robert Fripp's heartfelt message described him as the original roadie, lyricist, and artistic director of King Crimson, while social media lit up with memories of his poetic brilliance and the indelible mark he left on music history. One fan aptly wrote, Peter Sinfield didn't just write lyrics, he painted worlds with words. 
A story that captures Sinfield's essence is his creation of the phrase, 21st century schizoid man. When asked where schizoid came from, Sinfield admitted he had absolutely no idea, yet its resonance perfectly encapsulated the disarray and fragmentation of its time. It was this intuitive genius, a mix of spontaneity and depth, that defined his artistry. Peter Sinfield's legacy is one of fearless creativity and lyrical mastery. His words continue to inspire new generations of artists and fans, proving that the power of poetry and music can transcend time. As we celebrate his life and contributions, we are reminded of his ability to transform chaos into beauty, leaving behind a treasure trove of art that will forever enrich the world. We can't wait to leave here and do something! News 1. Oprah Winfrey's Extraordinary Journey, Triumphs, Trials, and Unstoppable Legacy In a world where fame often brings trials as much as triumphs, Oprah Winfrey has forged a path that is nothing short of extraordinary. At 70, with a legacy spanning decades, Oprah embodies resilience, compassion, and an unparalleled ability to connect with people from all walks of life. From a childhood marked by hardship to her reign as the queen of all media, her journey is a testament to overcoming adversity and using one's platform for profound impact. Oprah's story began humbly in Kosciusko, Mississippi, born to a teenage mother and raised in rural poverty. Her early years were shaped by the strong presence of her grandmother, who taught her to read and nurtured her love of storytelling. However, her childhood was far from idyllic, Facing abuse and immense challenges, Oprah's spirit remained unbroken. These experiences would later fuel her drive to give a voice to the voiceless and advocate for those in need. Her breakthrough came in the 1970s when she transitioned from a local news anchor to a talk show host in Baltimore. It was in Chicago, hosting AM Chicago in 1984, that her unique ability to connect emotionally with her audience caught national attention. Within months, she transformed the struggling show into a ratings phenomenon. The renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show became a cultural cornerstone, running for 25 years and reaching millions of viewers daily. Oprah's heartfelt, often confessional style revolutionized television, blending entertainment with meaningful discussions about spirituality, self-improvement, and societal issues. But Oprah's impact extended far beyond the small screen, her book club reshaped the publishing industry, turning obscure titles into bestsellers overnight. She championed literature that explored complex human emotions and societal challenges, inspiring millions to pick up books and engage in conversations that mattered. Films like The Color Purple further solidified her role as a cultural icon, with her performance earning an Academy Award nomination and introducing her to a global audience. Amidst her meteoric rise, Oprah faced her share of challenges. Her candid discussions about her struggles with weight, self-esteem, and personal relationships made her relatable to her audience, but also subjected her to relentless public scrutiny. She tackled these challenges with transparency and grace, turning them into teachable moments that resonated deeply with her viewers. Even during controversies, such as criticism over her endorsement of self-help gurus, or her promotion of unconventional health treatments, Oprah remained steadfast, focusing on the positive impact of her work. Her resilience was most evident in her ability to reinvent herself time and again. After ending her iconic talk show in 2011, she launched the Oprah Winfrey Network, a bold venture that further demonstrated her vision and adaptability. While the network initially struggled, Oprah's perseverance turned it into a success, producing content that reflected her values and resonated with her audience. Oprah's influence extends far beyond entertainment. Her philanthropy, including the establishment of the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, reflects her commitment to education and empowerment. She has donated over $400 million to educational causes and supported countless initiatives aimed at creating opportunities for marginalized communities. Her ability to use her wealth and platform to uplift others underscores her enduring legacy, 
as not just a media mogul, but a force for good. In recent years, Oprah has continued to expand her reach, tackling new challenges with the same determination that has defined her career. From her work on the Color Purple musical film adaptation to her insightful interviews on Apple TV+, she remains a dynamic presence in the cultural landscape. Her 70th birthday was marked by reflections on a life dedicated to inspiring others, a life where gratitude serves as her guiding principle. Oprah's story is far from over. Her journey marked by resilience, transformation, and an unwavering belief in the power of storytelling reminds us that life's greatest challenges can become its greatest opportunities. She has shown that even in the face of adversity, it's possible to rise, to innovate, and to leave an indelible mark on the world. Through every success and stumble, Oprah Winfrey has proven that life is about rising above hardship and using one's experiences to uplift others. Her legacy as a storyteller, a philanthropist, and a cultural pioneer will continue to inspire generations. Share your reflections on Oprah's incredible journey in the comments and stay tuned for more stories that celebrate resilience and the human spirit. In the grand and delicate world of ballet, where every movement tells a story, the name Vladimir Shklyarov has etched itself as a legend. The recent loss of this extraordinary artist at the age of 39 has left an indelible mark on the global dance community, creating a void that will be felt for generations to come. His passing, a tragic accident on November 16th, has united fans and colleagues in mourning, yet also in celebrating the vibrant legacy of a man whose talent and passion transcended borders. Born in St. Petersburg in 1985, Shklyarov's life seemed destined for the stage. Graduating from the prestigious Academy of Russian Ballet, he joined the Mariinsky Theater in 2003, marking the beginning of a luminous career. By 2011, his dedication and unmatched skill earned him the title of principal dancer, the highest accolade in the ballet world. His artistry, whether as the noble Prince Siegfried in Swan Lake or the romantic Romeo in Romeo and Juliet, captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Every performance was a testament to his dedication. His every leap and pirouette filled with both technical precision and emotional depth. Over two decades, Shklyarov's career flourished beyond the confines of Russia. His performances graced renowned stages such as the Metropolitan Opera in New York, the Royal Opera House in London, and the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. His ability to embody the very soul of his characters made him a beloved figure in productions like The Sleeping Beauty, Don Quixote, and The Nutcracker. His unparalleled technique was matched by his dramatic presence, leaving audiences mesmerized and critics singing his praises. His accolades were many, but for Shklyarov, the greatest honor came in 2020, when he was named an honored artist of Russia. This title reflected not just his mastery of ballet, but also his contribution to the cultural heritage of his nation. It was a moment of profound recognition for an artist whose influence extended far beyond the stage. Fellow dancers admired him as a virtuoso, a performer who could seamlessly navigate between classical roles and modern choreography, leaving a unique mark on each. Shklyarov's life was deeply intertwined with the Mariinsky Theater, but his impact reached far into the personal lives of his peers. His wife, Maria Shirinkina, a fellow Mariinsky dancer, shared his world both on and off the stage. Together, they built a life centered on their shared passion for ballet, raising two children in an environment rich with artistic inspiration. The tragic circumstances of his death have only deepened the sorrow of his loss. According to reports, Shklyarov was preparing for a complex spinal surgery and had been taking painkillers to manage his condition. On the evening of November 16th, he tragically fell from a fifth floor balcony, an accident that has left the ballet world in shock. Colleagues and fans alike have taken to social media to express their grief and pay tribute to a man who gave so much to his art. Diana Vishneva, a fellow Mariinsky dancer, poignantly described Shklyarov as her beautiful Romeo and brave prince, sentiments echoed by countless others. The American Ballet Theater, where he performed as a guest artist in 2014 and 2015, called him 
an extraordinary artist whose grace and passion inspired audiences worldwide. These tributes underline the profound connection he forged with everyone who experienced his work. Beyond his achievements and accolades, Shklerov's story is one of resilience and humanity. Those who knew him speak of his generosity, his dedication to mentoring younger dancers, and his unwavering commitment to his craft. His life was a testament to the power of artistry to transcend personal and professional challenges, inspiring countless others to pursue their passions with equal fervor. The legacy of Vladimir Shklyarov will live on, not only in the memories of his breathtaking performances, but in the influence he has left on the world of ballet. His name is now etched into the annals of history as a symbol of brilliance, passion, and an unyielding dedication to the art of dance. While his untimely passing leaves a void, his light continues to shine through the beauty he brought to the world. As we reflect on his life and contributions, let us hold on to the lessons his journey imparts, that art is a universal language, that dedication can transform lives, and that the human spirit, though fragile, can leave a legacy of enduring strength and beauty. Rest in peace, Vladimir Shklyarov. Your story much like the dance you so loved, will forever inspire and move us. News 2. Meryl Streep. The untold story of triumph, heartbreak, and an unstoppable legacy. In a world where fame often demands a price, Meryl Streep has stood as a beacon of grace and resilience, transcending the boundaries of acting to become a symbol of excellence, perseverance, and reinvention. At 74 years old, Streep's journey through Hollywood and beyond is a testament to unparalleled talent and an unyielding commitment to her craft. Her story is not just one of stardom, but of humanity, of struggles faced, lessons learned, and a legacy built. Born Mary Louise Streep on June 22, 1949 in Summit, New Jersey, Merrill's early life was shaped by a nurturing yet challenging environment. Encouraged by her mother, who instilled in her a fierce sense of capability, young Merrill blossomed from a shy, glasses-wearing child into a formidable force of nature. Her journey into acting began almost by accident, but quickly evolved into a calling. With a background in drama from Vassar College and Yale School of Drama, she entered the industry with an intensity and focus that would soon set her apart. Streep's early career was marked by an undeniable versatility. From her heartbreaking turn in The Deer Hunter, 1978, to her powerful performance in Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979, which won her first Oscar, she quickly cemented her place among the acting elite. Yet, it was her role in Sophie's Choice, 1982, that revealed the depths of her talent. Her portrayal of Sophie Zawistowski, a Holocaust survivor, was so devastatingly real that it became a defining moment in cinema, earning her a second Academy Award. Merrill's ability to transform into characters with astounding authenticity has been her hallmark. From the iron-willed Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady to the vivacious Miranda Priestly in The Devil Wears Prada, her range knows no bounds. Each role she touches becomes an unforgettable masterpiece, and her meticulous preparation, from mastering accents to embodying complex emotions, has become legendary. Her success has been decorated with an extraordinary number of accolades. 21 Academy Award nominations, 3 wins, 34 Golden Globe nominations, 8 wins, and a litany of other honors including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2014. Beyond the awards, Streep has reshaped the perception of women in film, proving that age is no barrier to meaningful and dynamic roles, but even legends face trials. Behind the glamour of her career, Merrill endured personal struggles, including the tragic loss of her partner, actor John Cazale, to cancer in 1978. This devastating event shaped her resilience and deepened her emotional wellspring, which she has poured into her roles. Recently, it was revealed that Streep and her husband of 45 years, Don Gummer, had been separated for over six years. Yet, their mutual respect and care endure, a testament to the nuanced and private way she handles personal matters. Streep's humanity extends far beyond her on-screen personas. 
She has been a fierce advocate for women's rights, education, and the arts, establishing scholarships for underrepresented screenwriters and contributing generously to the National Women's History Museum, she has used her platform to effect change. Her involvement in initiatives like Time's Up underscores her commitment to making Hollywood a better place for all. Even now, Merrill continues to inspire. Her recent role in Only Murders in the Building has been met with adoration, not just for her performance, but for her dedication to the craft. Co-star Selena Gomez recounted how Streep insisted on staying late on set to support her colleagues, a gesture that exemplifies her class and passion. Meryl's work ethic remains unmatched, and her love for storytelling unflagging. As we reflect on her illustrious career, it is clear that Meryl's impact reaches far beyond the silver screen. Her artistry has inspired countless actors, and her story has touched the hearts of millions. Watching her receive the honorary Palme d'Or at Cannes this year was a poignant reminder of her global significance. In her heartfelt acceptance speech, she thanked her collaborators and fans, reminding us of the humility and gratitude that define her. Meryl Streep's journey is a masterclass in resilience, artistry, and reinvention. She has shown us that greatness lies not only in talent, but in how one uses it to uplift others. Her legacy is one of enduring influence, not just as the greatest actress of her generation, but as a symbol of the human spirit's capacity to endure, evolve, and inspire. Through every triumph and tribulation, Merrill has proven that life's challenges are not deterrents, but stepping stones to something greater. And for that, we are endlessly grateful. Today's stars, Genevieve Grad, Peter Sinfield, Oprah Winfrey, Vladimir Shklyarov, and Meryl Streep, each leave behind a legacy of extraordinary talent and profound impact. Their work has shaped art, inspired generations, and touched countless lives with their humanity and grace. We honor their contributions and celebrate the joy, courage, and resilience they brought to the world. Share your thoughts or favorite memories of these icons in the comments. We'd love to hear your stories. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more inspiring tributes to the legends who continue to influence and inspire us all.